What is up everybody? So today's a really, really good day. We just picked up a set of C7 cup wheels. These are my favorite wheel GM ever made for the Corvette. I just think they look absolutely awesome. So we got lucky. This is a set with only 3000 miles on it. So I know that there's a little bit of controversy around these wheels uh, with cracking or bending issues. These do not have that problem just yet at least. Knock on wood. Uh, but today we're gonna take some precautions. While they are in such good condition, we're gonna go ahead and protect it. So I got this idea from Obsessed Garage. They do a very detailed video on how to apply this product. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna see exactly how to do it. We're gonna do an abbreviated version today, and then we're gonna go ahead and get these on the car tomorrow morning. So let's see what black on black looks like. Let's get started. So a quick look at some of the products we're gonna be using today, starting off and the lineage that you'll be using is the Sonex wheel cleaner. So commonly found in like an advanced, you can use this turtle wax hyperfoam. This is a very good product, but Sonex is known to be a little bit more potent. So we're gonna use that today in conjunction with this Adams iron remover. So between these two products, all the brake dust and kind of existing grease and grime should be cleared off the wheels. And then we'll go ahead and clay bar the, the wheels so that we know that they are completely free of contaminants to prep for this two-part ceramic coating. So this is a CarPro product, Deluxe and Gliss. This is specific to wheels and trim. So unlike other ceramic coatings that they're meant for the body of the car, this is specific to wheels. So that's why we're gonna use it today. Uh, and it has pretty good reviews. So over the next couple hours, you guys can enjoy about a one minute montage of me knocking this out. All right, so we got the gliss applied this morning to these wheels. You're supposed to wait about four to six hours until it's fully cured. And you're also supposed to wait about five to seven days before you can hit it with any chemicals. So we're gonna go ahead and wash the car right now uh, without these wheels on it so that we don't affect the coating. And then we'll get them swapped on.
and there she is. I think it looks absolutely amazing if you ask me. I really like the black on black look. And I think one of the best parts is the contrast between now the calipers and the wheels. That gloss is just amazing and now the white pops a lot. So a little change from the last video, I did end up painting those vents black. I think it makes it look a lot cleaner. And we'll do a, an update on the ceramic coating here in the next couple months to see if it still has the same hydrophobic properties, but the gloss is just amazing from it. So it really cleaned up nice and I'm really pleased. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see any other videos or suggestions, let me know.